Hi all, this is the intro to week three. Last week we worked on secondary sources. You watched videos, completed a Kali exercise, and worked with your small groups to create a wiki that listed and described secondary sources that would be helpful for your client. We've taken a preliminary look at the group wikis and there's really some excellent work there. So thank you all for working so hard last week. This week, we'll be covering transactional and procedural forms, as well as dockets and filings. Like last week, there are several short videos, Cali lessons, and a group assignment. Something new that we're going to have this week is a short quiz. It's going to cover just the material for this week, so not prior weeks. And although it's untimed, so you're going to be able to go look up your answers if you like, um, and in the case of the last two questions, they are research-based, so you will be looking things up. But even though it's untimed, it is graded, and it's going to count towards your quiz portion of your final grade. So I want you to work on this assignment alone and not with your classmates. We know that some of you have already have a fully formed idea about the type of law practice you're going to be entering when you graduate. Since we're aware of this, um, some of the res resources we know are more useful for transactional attorneys and some might be more useful for those concentrating in litigation. So this week uh, we've done something a little bit different. We're requiring some materials and we've left some others optional. In particular, I wanted to point out I've listed two Cali lessons, one for working with transactional forms and one for working with procedural forms. You're only required um, to complete one. We do suggest completing both, um, but to get credit for these, you only have to complete one of, two, of these two lessons. So um, there were a few questions about the Cali lessons last week too, so just to clarify, um, it doesn't matter what your grade is, but you need to complete all the questions to get credit for completion of the lesson. Okay. Also, in your group assignment, you're going to have a choice about what you get to research. You can either look for something having to do with a transactional form or something have to do with a procedural form. So there again, you're going to have a choice based on um, the practice area you're most interested in. For group work this week, we're not going to be using the group wiki, but we will revisit this tool later in the semester. So I know you've worked hard on um, learning how to use the wiki, and we're definitely going to be using it a few more times. But this week, you're going to be doing research, so a similar research assignment, um, using the tools and the skills that we've covered in the materials this week. But then you're going to be writing a discussion post entry discussing the research you conducted. And there's a lot more detail about this assignment. It's at the end after the videos and after the quiz. On the week three group assignment here, there's a lot more information. There's a multi-page document that describes the assignment as well as a discussion about how we're going to grade it with a grading rubric. Okay. So you're going to be required to do one really thoughtful post about your research and also respond to two of your group's initial postings. So just like last week, you're going to have something due on Saturday by 6. And the reason we're doing that is so that we're splitting the week so that you have time to get through some of the materials, write that initial post, and your classmates or your group mates, actually, you'll be working in your small groups for this, um, will have time to read your posts and respond. I hope that you found the reflective journals a good place to assess how last week went for you and whether you were able to achieve the learning objectives. They're a good place for us, too, to see what's working for the class and what isn't, so definitely keep up with those really thorough weekly reflections. My suggestion for you this week is to spend a little time reviewing all of the week's materials early. So you don't have to complete all the assignments, but get a sense of what's going to be due and try and figure out how long you think it's going to take you. Um, this can help you better plan your time for this class. As always, we value your questions, comments, and concerns. We try to respond as quickly as we can to questions posted on the general discussion board and to emails that we receive directly. But I just wanted to mention that sometimes our availability is, is not going to be as good, for example, over the weekend. So this is another good reason to review the class materials earlier in the week, even though you have something due on a Saturday. So we're going to be reading all the journal entries, but we're not going to be able to respond to those as 
as quickly as an email, for example, as it takes us a while to make it through all the students' entries. Um, so definitely if you have a question you need answered or a quicker turnaround, send us an email or post to the general Q&A discussion forum for a quicker response. Okay, I think that's it for this week. So um, let's get started with week three.